This is part five of modeling the alien isolation pipe bomb. And uh, it's time to do an ambient occlusion render, which is something that I always really enjoy. Um, when it gets to this point, I start to see a rendered uh, view of this thing. So I'm gonna look at it from the front and I'm gonna actually make a copy of this shifty copy the whole thing. Before I do anything, I'm gonna call this device two. And I think I will turn this around. So we see the other side of it. Maybe I'll do something like that. I'm going to go for 150. It's going to be cycles. And let's just do 1024. 1st Okay. I'm going to select a little bit of this, go to materials, new. I'm going to call this AO material. And I'm going to come over to the shading tab. ambient occlusion and also a color ramp and I'm going to make this color something like that select everything and that control M materials and in the world I'm going to choose an environment texture in HDR go for that one let me go back to shading I'll switch to the world copy that background node I'm going to make this, it's the darker gray. here all right so here's my first ambient occlusion render looking good so far so I think I'll make a bigger one now let's bring that up to 100% turn it a bit all right so there's my there's my render and it looks okay. Uh, doing the ambient occlusion render uh, lets me check my shadows and see if I have some touch up to do, such as right there and uh, you know a few other places. But it's looking okay to me. So the next step, of course, will be to uh, do the actual uh, texturing. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool. It was a lot of fun to model. Uh, took a little while and uh, we'll do the texturing and then we'll have a final look. Thanks very much.